गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वी आर इन हिस्ट्री क्लास एंड वी आर जस्ट गोइंग टू एक्सिलेट द टॉपिक नेशनलिज्म इन इंडिया इन प्रीवियस क्लासेस वी हैड जस्ट डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द नेशनलिज्म बर्थ प्लेस ऑफ नेशनलिज्म एंड आल्सो द एक्सिलेशन ऑफ नेशनलिज्म टुडे Uh, I want to teach about some branches of the tree-like nationalism. And first of all, we have to know after the next creation of nationalism by our father of the nation, Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi. We have just uh, biased by his Gandhiana philosophy. We had. Biased uh, with the uh, fragrance of Mondas Karamchand Gandhi. So, when uh, nationalism, nationalism captured all the imaginations of Indian people. At that time, there is there was something the creation of uh, nationalism and the. unity equality fraternity and dignity came to into the action and also endurance persistence and will power came into the action when that thing flowed among the people when that creativeness that my lineage blew upon the indian people indian people were on a rampage to know what is nationalism and to know what is the uh, fruitfulness of nationalism so before entering to the topic we had discussed we had just talked about uh, uh, satyagraha the satyagraha means the agraha for satya or interest for truth this is nothing but the passive reaction just we are going to highlight that point we are going to give more emphasis on that point satyagraha because satyagraha is the root to attain every profit and to attain to win over the all hearts of indians so we may say it is passive reaction it and also no physical force used in this stop in this uh, method very beautiful method and slow and steady wins the race by the way using that method our forefathers gifted us the noble idea and also in satyagraha it is the soul force it is the soul force and truth is very substance of this soul whereas britishers are the worshipper of war god and they are also carrying the method of violence blood shedding on the other hand the people of india by the help of mohandas karamchand gandhi used the best method which is non violence which is satyagraha and also Indians carried the weapon of non-violence, which was their religion. And in this process, no one will be orphaned, no one will be widowed, and no harm to anyone will be conducted uh, by this process. So, Mahatma Gandhi thought a noble idea. Mahatma Gandhi 
thought a good idea by which, without blood shedding, without uh, quarreling, without uh, distressing the mind, the people of India got the uh, cream point of that uh, renasa. So finally, finally what happened? Uh, according to Mahatma Gandhi, there will be peace everywhere. And by the help of that noble weapon, Satyagraha, Mahatma Gandhi wanted to know, win over the heart of the people. So finally, non-cooperation movement came into the action. Non-cooperation movement came into the picture. Why non-cooperation is there? And what will be the Munafa from that non cooperation. So, Gandhiji had written a book, Hind Swaraj, in 1909. In that noble book, he had mentioned that only cooperation can win over, only non cooperation can win over the Britishers. Britishers are upon the cooperation of Indian people. When we will not cooperate them, when we will not cooperate them, then they will be demoralized and they will be helpless. So finally, he used the beautiful method of non cooperation. And for this, he started the Congress session, which was started in 1920 in the month of December. So, how did this moment unfold? How did this moment took a plump size? How did this moment took a greater size? Uh, that is the question here. So, from your examination point of view, it is very important. From your examination point of view, uh, it is a most uh, highlighted topic and also you have to digest it properly. You have to digest the theme of this topic properly, otherwise uh, you can't write something else. You can't write anything else uh, in your exam paper. So, Finally, you have to know uh, what is the uh, non-cooperation and why it is made and what is the profit there and what should be done to uh, satisfy that uh, goodness of non-cooperation. So, in order to satisfy the non-cooperation movement, the people are there to non-cooperate. Britishers. They, are, they were ready to take any hazards. They were ready to take any types of punishment. They were ready to take any type of uh, problems. Whatever may be the case, whatever may be the result, they have to not cooperate the Britishers. So finally, that uh, thing spread to the town and it spread to the countryside. So, what are the positions in towns? We have to see in towns, especially there are some elite groups, they know something about the picture of society, they know something about the uh, picture of political hazards, so they left the officials of foreigners. So when they were in the mind not to cooperate the Britishers, they thought, first of all, first of all foreign goods should be boycotted. 
and they thought foreign goods to be abundant. So I am giving you some more points to support your non-cooperation movement in your towns. First, thousand students left government control schools. Thousand students left government <coughs> control schools. Second point, headmasters left the jobs. Third point, lawyers gave up legal practice. Then fourth point, council elections were boycotted. These are the points to support your answer. So, by staying with the ideas of uh, non-cooperation, so many students left the government control schools. They did not want to read in such type of schools. They did not uh, want, they did not like to support the Britishers in this field. And so many headmasters left their job. So many teachers left their job. And also so many freedom fighters left their titles. Left their titles. So many freedom fighters left their titles. And also uh, uh, lawyers gave up uh, legal uh, practice. Council elections were vacated. And this type of things happen in the society. Then, what was the effect? When people who are charged with, when people who are in one race to do anything to satisfy their uh, hopes. So, what happened there? What are the effects? I don't need effects. Effects. First point. Foreign goods boycotted, second, liquor suffocated. These are most important from your examination point of view, minded students. Uh, these are most important. You have to mention uh, three to five. For five marks questions, you have to mention five to six points. And for three marks questions, you have to write down three points here. Three points are sufficient to uh, your question answer. So that foreign clothes born in huge bonfires. So these are the effects of your non-cooperation. And first point is foreign goods boycotted. Everything was uh, boycotted means giving no importance to the foreign goods. Liquors are picketed. They also destroyed the liquor shops. They also smashed the liquor shops. And also foreign clothes born in huge bonfires. Foreign clothes were born into a bonfire. And also uh, import became hard. That was the greater importance of uh, on import. And Indian people, Indian people are made, Indian people made a surgical strike on the import of foreign clothes, import of foreign goods and import became half from 102 to 57 crores. So finally what happened there? This thing, this thing uh, are the main point and main effect of the non-cooperation. So, when these things are, were made, what happened there? The lock 
was not with the Indians. Because this uh, non-cooperation movement could not uh, last many times. There were some drawbacks. There were some drawbacks. Uh, what are they? Uh, so write down this may be question. So what are the drawbacks? Why this noble idea? Why this noble profession? Why this good uh, temperament could not long last? So finally what happened there? When it became slow down, it became slow down because in the name of picketing, people were misused the picketing. In the name of uh, burning the foreign classes, people misused it. And in the name of uh, growing the cottons, growing the uh, mills, cotton mills, uh, they misused it and they were not sufficient to satisfy the uh, society needs. So what happened there? More expensive and first thing is the local mills could not, could not supply more goods. First thing, uh, the local mill owners could not satisfy, could not hold the need of the society. Local mills could not supply more goods and they were unable to uh, satisfy the need of the society. Secondly, the handmade goods, handmade goods were costly. Second important point is there, it is very costly because uh, Britishers were supplying the goods from machine mills. And how can a man or handmaid can compete with the machine? This was the case here. When they were just creating the things from machine, they were making the things with the help of machine, it obviously it costed low cost. And when the handmade things are there, you will see uh, we are using silk dresses, and we are using cotton and silk dresses, but if we will buy some sambalpur dresses, and if we will buy some khadi dresses, and this shirt will cost four to five thousand. Is not it costly? So finally, uh, this is the example for uh, this thing. And when handmade things became more costly, people could not afford it. People who were unable to buy such type of costly goods because people who are in hard street, people who are not in a position, people who are not in a mentality to buy, and people who are not in a standard to buy such type of valuable things. So finally, uh, this thing, uh, the handmade goods were costly. Then the people. The, the students, lawyers, and also official staffs, they could not help the, this uh, movement. They returned to their places, the previous places. They were interested to earn more and more with the help of uh, Britishers. So when they all took the ideas, they were against the, this option, they were against this uh, movement, finally that uh, mission collapsed and that mission became uh, negligible and it was with no worth. Then how it is, this is the social picture of your town, this is the social picture of town side. So how this thing was in countryside, this is the point here. Let's go to the countryside. According to Mahatma Gandhi, India lies with our villages. So how countries and how villages were giving the support to that noble uh, idea, 
let's see there. In countryside, beggars. This is the most important word, beggar, because beggars, the word beggar is most important for this because they were doing labor but getting no money. They were going, they are doing all of their efforts, but that was nonsense of giving no result. No result and no income also. So they were just toiling there without any words. So these are called beggars. So finally, in the countryside, beggars were, were there and also they were working for the Britishers. So, in the countryside, what happened there? When they listen about the talk, non-cooperation, they thought, Gandhiana ideology, they thought, Gandhiana philosophy will help some extent to us. And also, in our Baba Ramachandra, Baba Ramachandra took the leadership Baba Ramachandra took the leadership and uh, there was the system of talukdars and the landlords. In that society, in village area, talukdars and also landowners, landlords, they were in good position. The society, in the society, they were with the half group. And they were always torturing the husbands. They were always torturing the people uh, without money. So their position was in the high level by the help of Britishers. In order to satisfy their evil uh, intention, in order to squeeze the money from the people, Talukdars and landlords are using, were using harsh method. So, the society was in turmoil. The society was in uh, turmoil uh, when uh, they heard about uh, this mission, when, high, when the society heard about uh, the non-cooperation movement, they give support to give, to take the lease lands. What is lease lands? So lease lands. So finally, when you may, you may give a blow to my backside, you may give some punishment to my body parts, it may be adjustable. But when you will kick my belly, when you will kick my empty belly, that sound from my empty valley and that sound will be revolted. The sound will be echoed. The sound will be thrilled uh, to the heaven and also to the hell. And when empty valley reacts, when empty valley will shout, that shout will be the creation of revolution. So, what happened there? When the people were tortured by the Talukdars and the, so your landlords, at that time, that inspiration from Mondas Karamchand Gandhi supported themselves. And they were mad with this idea. So in order to satisfy their ideas, they revolted against, they also, in our Kisan Sabha, they made Nai Dhobi Bans. Nai Dhobi Bans. Nai Dhobi Bans. So, what is Nai Dhobi Bans? Nai means barber. Dhobi means washerman. Barber, they restricted barber and also washerman to the Talukdas. They also uh, made Aud Kisan Sabha. Aud Kisan Sabha. 
by the leadership of Jawaharlal Nehru. And you will be astonished within a few time, within a little time, that uh, Mission Sabha supported 300 branches, 300 branches. And also, what happened there? After doing that works, what is the effect? What is the effect in the countryside? In countryside, so what is the effect? Write down it. Effect in countryside. First, house of house of talukdas and merchants were attacked. Bajars were looted. Grain hordes were ruined. No tax given by anyone. So, uh, what was the effect of that uh, non cooperation movement in countryside? Houses of Kalukdas and merchants were attacked. Bajars were looted. Grain hordes were ruined. No tax given by anyone. So, they were in the mood, the people were in the mood not to cooperate anyone. So, they thought, whatever may be the case, they will not support the Britishers. In the meanwhile, what happened? A bad idea took place in the mind of the people. In the meanwhile, a uh, Gutten Hills in Andhra Pradesh, Gutten Hills in Andhra Pradesh, Gutten Hills, write down Gutten Hills, Gutten Hills in Andhra Pradesh, very dense forests are there, and also people thought that this is the beautiful chance, this is the beautiful chance to do anything else, anything wrong to the Britishers. They adopted harsh method. And also, uh, they adopted a militant works. The excited people started the gorilla wars. They attacked people, the, they attacked police force. They attacked on Britishers. So finally, the government, this, this news spread to the government and Britishers became very rude to the people. They thought in the countryside they neglected the people and also they restricted the people to enter the forest. So what a matter? From our forefathers, the forest is our property. If anyone will bury you from your general things, from your general rights, then you will obviously revolt. That will be that was the case. And what happened? When the people attacked from Andhra Pradesh hills, when people attacked from gorilla, started gorilla wars, at that time, government closed all the free lands. So, what was the reaction of government? Reaction of the government. So, the reaction was there. Government closed all the forest areas. Closed all the forest areas. They did not allow people to graze their cattle. They didn't allow to graze their cattle. Preventing people to enter, collect prevented people to collect firewood and fruits. 
when the traditional rights when the traditional rights being denied and when the people of uh, the forest they thought they thought uh, they were neglected by the britishers then they took the incarnation of god aluri sitaram raju aluri sitaram raju most important figure in your forest area aluri sitaram raju aluri sitaram raju who was biased by the mahatma gandhi but he helped the people he said the people i am the incarnation of god i am the um, form of god so i am here to help the people so the people obeyed aluri sitaram raju and also when that news reached to the britishers they arrested aluri sitaram raju and you will be astonished he he was beheaded by the britishers and it was in 1924 in 1924 aluri sitaram raju who had been the friend of the village people who had given the friendly words to the village people who had given nectar to village people uh, he was beheaded in 1924 so finally what happened in countryside uh, there was swar swarajin plantation what is swarajin plantation in assam swaraj in plantation So, so how swaraj came into the plantation in assam in assam there were the tea planters and peasants who were bound to work in tea fields so according to <coughs> indian immigration act 1859 according to inland do not friends don't disturb please if you disturb then it will give uh, no more profit to you you will be the loser here so don't be disturbed please inland immigration act 1859 by the by this act they were indian to levels they cannot they cannot go monopoly without their mercy so they are bound to work in tea fields this is the process of this act inland immigration act 1859 so finally what happened when people who are tortured when people who are in turmoil at the time this uh, suraj what suraj acted like something else and also mondas karamchand they thought mondas karamchand gandhi will support and gandhi raj gandhi raj will help us gandhi raj will help us and also if gandhi raj will help them then they were bastard with the gandhian philosophy so after this when this news when this nationalism spread from door to door when that nationalism spread to every nook and corner of india that news was there with britishers and also that news the when they heard that news they became impatient when they heard that news they became mad and at any cost by hook or crook they wanted to restrict all the indians from that arena sir they wanted to restrict all the indians from uh, that uh, uh, nationalism nationalistic ideas 
so finally what simon commission was there to solve the problems in india when the people were in agitating mood when people were in disturbing mood and also quarreling mood the people to restrict the people the britishers made a plan what was the plan that plan was simon commission but it is for all of there was no member from indian side in the simon commission there were seven members all were britishers well they when simon came to india when simon came to india and the south go back simon go back simon revolted in the uh, air of india so simon commission was giving no profit to the people so the people wanted to take the risk the pe- people wanted to take the risk so what happened there the people and also the people of india who were also tortured were also cheated by the britishers in second gold round table conference in second round table conference what happened india the representative from india mahatma gandhi was severely criticized by churchill and he said that naked fakir to mohandas karamchand gandhi so using that nakedness mohandas karamchand gandhi also thrilled the whole world he gave the idea that what that naked fakir can do so using that uh, weapon non cooperation that naked fakir taught britishers a good lesson and then and then what happened in when the society was burning with disheartened when the society was burning with discontentment at that time britishers take a chance they thought in order to extract the more taxes they levied the tax upon the salt and indian people were food loving all the indian people were food loving and salt is the most important ingredient to that their foods so salt is required by from negligible family to a high pay family so finally what happened there salt they levied tax upon salt and the britishers thought uh, the salt tax will give them more profit because most of the people and also every people are using salt in india but that acted as a boomerang to them mahatma gandhi took that salt case and mahatma gandhi thought by the help of that moment i can win over the heart of indian people mahatma gandhi thought by this process i will reach every corner of indian family then he started salt march he started a he started salt march and also he started that noble march from sabarmati ashram from sabarmati ashram to the coastal from sabarmati ashram to coastal town dandi 
Dandi March, it is also known as Dandi March. So, Mahatma Gandhi gave instruction to the people, Britishers, you have to rectify your uh, thinking, you have to rectify your ideas and also correct your bad options. So, when Britishers gave deep high, British beg pardon, the Britishers gave deep ears towards the version of Mondes Karanchand Gandhi, Gandhi started Dandi March. And in Dandi March, it is started from Sabarmati Ashram to the coastal town Dandi. And in this uh, noble journey, in this noble journey, uh, it is started 240 kilometers, 240 miles within 24 days. It should be covered. And 10 miles should be covered in a particular day. So, this started, this Dandi March started 11th March, 11th March and ended 6th April 1930. So, when the march was in progress, when that operation was in activeness, so many fellows, so many well-wishers, and also that march was started with 78 followers, 78 followers. So, on the way, so many people joined with that greatest idea. So many people joined with the 24 days. And finally, Vijay Lakshmi Pandit and Sarojini Naidu, both of them joined with this Dandi March, which is known as Salt March. Salt March. Then, this is all about Salt March and also so many women side, so many women are, we have just participated in this Dandi March and also before concluding this class, I want to say this is the touching ideas, this is the electrifying ideas given by myself to bring the general idea on the topic and also by reading and by listening these topics, it is guaranteed you will be capable enough to, to satisfy your exam needs. And also, finally, before concluding it, Bande Mataram created the awareness, tri fever, tri colored national flag emerged, the nationalistic ideas, and so many freedom fighters came into the arena. Finally, that uh, great race took a plum size figure, and this is all about my nationalism in India and the hardest heat of the people, the toiling freedom fighters, the respected freedom fighters gave us the beautiful freedom to us and it is our duty to keep it up for a long time and 
बिफोर एंडिंग माई टीचिंग आई मे से जय जगन्नाथ एंड अटेंटिव बी अटेंटिव टू आर स्टडी थैंक यू स्टूडेंट्स थैंक यू जय हिंद